Hello there, welcome. So today we're going to talk about manually handling. That's pushing a motorcycle around manually. So manual handling is part of your CBT. And you'll be pushing around a lightweight motorcycle, generally speaking. And if you're doing test training in the UK, you'll be manually handling a larger motorcycle, probably a five or a 600 cc, depending if you're doing your A2 or your full A license. Now I often get concerns about pushing a motorcycle um, around, especially a heavy one. And when you've passed your test, you might want to ride an even larger motorcycle. So today we're going to look at a few of the considerations of how to do that. Now it's not pure strength that achieves this. We're all different in the way that we have abilities to move around heavy weights. It's technique that is important when it comes to a motorcycle. And there are some commonly made mistakes which can put you at risk of injury if we don't get things right. So one of the first things we need to consider when we bring a motorcycle into any area is once I've parked it up, can I actually get it out again? Is it possible? So that forward planning might make your life easier in the first place. So having decided we have to manually move the motorcycle and move it around, first thing I'm going to think about is the condition of the ground. I don't want to be pushing a motorcycle uphill if I can avoid it. Okay, the condition of the ground is very important because if it's slippery or gravelly, we need to make sure that we don't lose our footing because if we do, we've got quite a lot of weight and that weight will take over and will cause us an issue. So when we start moving a motorcycle around, things we need to be aware of. First of all, we don't want the motorcycle to be leaning away from us because if it gets to a certain point of balance, it will go and you will struggle to bring it back and the heavier the bike, and the higher the centre of gravity of that bike, the worse that will be. The more we lean a motorcycle towards us, the heavier it will become. So the sweet spot when handling a motorcycle is to have it just slightly off of upright and towards us. Now for most people, the legs are going to be stronger than the arms. And I see a lot of people trying to push with the arms and struggling with the heavier bike. We want to make things easy for ourselves, we want to keep things simple. Most motorcycles have a nice curvature here, and that's where I tend to put my hip. So when I want to push this motorcycle forwards, I use my hip in conjunction with my arms to lift. I use my knee there a little bit as well, hip and knee, I just lift the motorcycle to upright. Now I'm covering the front brake, and that stops the machine from running away. So at this point, Generally speaking, I would put the side stand up. So I make sure I'm braced. I've got control with my arms. The side stand goes fully up. And I can lean that motorcycle in towards me now. So you can see, this bike is about 265 kilos. It sits against my hip quite nicely and doesn't go anywhere. So when I want to push this bike forwards, just ease off the brake. And rather than pushing with my arms initially, I'm going to use my hip and push forward with the leg. And that way the motorcycle can move quite easily. So when we want to put the side stand back down, we apply the front brake. If it's an automatic, you could use the rear brake, but with most manual bikes, you've only got your front brake. So you apply the front brake. I've got my knee there just to help support the bike along with my arms. I can look down to find the side stand. Kick the side stand forwards, make sure it's fully forwards, and the bike leans onto its side. See, a lot of people lean the bike away to find the side stand. You're running the risk of the bike going over. Okay, so when pushing the motorcycle forwards, once we actually get moving, it's a lot easier because we have that momentum. And the thing to be careful of is when you're turning, don't whack your shins on the foot pegs. So when pushing the motorcycle, the only way we can bring it to a stop, other than physical strength, is by using the front brake. Unless, of course, you're pushing an automatic, in which case you may have the rear brake on the left handlebar. Whenever we use the brakes, we should always use them smoothly and progressively. And that's the same with the manual handling. 
and where you can try and avoid applying the brake whilst turning but if you have to apply it whilst turning yet again that smooth gentle application is important if we grab that brake or are harsh and aggressive with that brake it will send the weight of the motorcycle forwards and if you're turning it also in towards the turn and that's where that weight can take over and you'll have a potential loss of control and on slippery and rough ground the tyre may slip sideways and yet again the bike will fall so that smooth gentle application is very very important to your personal safety okay so when we're going to push the motorcycle backwards we start off with the same procedure of getting control of the bike that we did before applying the front brake using the hip, the leg, to push the motorcycle in an upright position. And we can stand into the motorcycle. We now place the right hand to the rear and push the side stand up. Now this is where I step into the bike. I don't want to be too far away. So when you start getting outstretched and you're relying on your arms, that's where the problem comes. And I just place my right hand to some convenient part of the bike at the rear I'm just going to start pushing with my leg, which is great if you've got panniers, because you can use your leg to push the panniers. You can see there I can easily move the bike with the leg. If you haven't, then you might just want to hold onto a grab rail or the pillion seat, and you just start to sidestep and walk the bike backwards. So another potential issue we have when pushing the motorcycle around is footwork. We don't want to be crossing our feet over, because we may fall. So what I would very often recommend just sidestep. Now for some people that is quite hard to do with a very very heavy bike. So we've got options. We need to play to our strengths and make life easy for ourselves. So the other option you've got is you just stand in the forward pushing position, just look over your shoulder, and you just gently walk the bike backwards. And when you're pushing the bike around, try not to look down at the bike like this. Not only does that affect your personal balance to a degree, you can't see where you're going, and you should never be pushing the motorcycle blind. So always try and look in the direction of the push. So when we're pushing the bike backwards like this, it's very easy to see where we're going. Like that, not so much so, but we still need to have that awareness. Pushing forward naturally is quite easy. So one other thing that we can consider when moving a very, very heavy motorcycle around is to actually leave the side stand down whilst we do it. And that way, if the bike does fall, we can pull it towards us and the bike will fall onto the side stand. We do need a word of warning about that particular technique. If whilst going backwards, the stand were to catch on something on the ground or an uneven surface, it may cause the bike to rock a little bit and get jolted out of your hands and that could cause you a problem. Alternatively, when pushing the bike forward, if it hits something on the ground, the side stand would start to retract it. It may go partially or all the way up. If you're not aware of that and you think you're going to pull the bike onto the side stand, of course, it's just going to topple straight over unless you check first, which you should always do, that the stand is fully down. But it is something that we can consider if we're quite concerned about the bike going over. It's a little safety blanket, if you like. Okay, so another thing that we see a lot of people do when trying to push a motorcycle around manually is we've got what we call paddling. So both feet are on the floor while sat on the bike and we use our legs to try and push the bike forwards. We might do that forwards, we might do that backwards. For some people that may work, but it has its risks. Today here, where I'm stopped, I've got mud on the ground. It may be the same if you've got gravel. If your feet slip, you will, your leg will go like so, and the motorcycle will very likely topple over. So paddling isn't the best way to do it. It has its risks. 
and I also find it quite a strain on the legs as well. So you need very strong legs. The other thing is your foot needs to be completely flat on the floor on both sides. And if you are riding a higher motorcycle, you have slightly shorter legs combined with a higher saddle height. If you're on tiptoes, paddling becomes even more difficult. So to get off the motorcycle and push it is a much better option for the vast majority of manoeuvres that we intend to do. Hopefully those techniques there have given you a little bit of help as to how to push your motorcycle around manually. One of the other options we have when trying to move a motorbike around in a small space is to use a technique that we call slow speed control, which means we sit on the motorcycle and we ride it properly with our feet up. I will be doing a video to show you how to ride a motorcycle slowly and how we can benefit from that technique. Thank you for watching, I hope this was helpful. Until next time, take care, ride safe, bye for now.